Apprenticeships continue to be one of the most important aspects of the skill system at this moment in time. And it's never been so important to both the economy as a whole, uh, but also to how employers particularly drive their growth in the future. We see skill gaps emerging in pretty much all industry sectors. And one of the most important aspects for employers to focus on is how they begin to fill those skill gaps. And apprenticeships present an ideal way for them to do so. It benefits them, it brings in highly talented, motivated individuals who can learn as they earn. And it's very clear that in many cases, apprentices that start their careers with organisations are very much more committed, they're more loyal, and actually deliver real productivity and economic benefits back to the employer. For the learners themselves, it's a great way to enter the world of work. It certainly doesn't prevent them from getting a degree if they so wish, but the most important aspect is they're learning a trade, they're learning their skill, they're contributing to the economy from the very first day they enter the workforce. And it's created some really interesting opportunities for them in terms of how they progress their particular careers. So apprenticeships are incredibly important. They're important to employers, they're important to individuals, and therefore it's important to the economy as a whole and how we grow. So I'm delighted to see the focus that we're seeing on apprenticeships and the focus has to continue over the coming years. The Sitting Guilds Group has recently published a report with the Sitting Guilds Alliance which involves AELP, 157 Group and the Centre for Real World Learning, part of the University of Winchester. And that piece of research was very much focused around remaking apprenticeships. And one of the most important aspects of that was to really focus on what we believe as being a little bit of a missing ingredient in recent sort of reforms and reviews. And that's about the quality of the learning experience. A lot has been done about structural reform, and that's good, it's welcome, we think it helps the system as a whole. But what there hasn't been is a focus around quality of learning and the pedagogy and how we really create a meaningful learning experience for apprentices. So we've put that report together, we've made some very, very clear recommendations, and we're looking forward to it actually getting more traction, stimulating the debate, raising awareness of what we think needs to be done in the future.